In chemistry and physics, a nucleon is either a proton or a neutron, considered in its role as a component of an atomic nucleus. The number of nucleons in a nucleus defines an isotope's mass number, nucleon number. Until the 1960s, nucleons were thought to be elementary particles, not made up of smaller parts. Now they are known to be composite particles, made of three quarks bound together by the so-called strong interaction. The interaction between two or more nucleons is called internucleon interaction or nuclear force, which is also ultimately caused by the strong interaction. Before the discovery of quarks, the term strong interaction referred to just internucleon interactions. Nucleons sit at the boundary where particle physics and nuclear physics overlap. Particle physics, particularly quantum chromodynamics, provides the fundamental equations that explain the properties of quarks and of the strong interaction. These equations explain quantitatively how quarks can bind together into protons and neutrons and all the other hadrons. However, when multiple nucleons are assembled into an atomic nucleus nuclide, these fundamental equations become too difficult to solve directly see lattice QCD. Instead, nuclides are studied within nuclear physics, which studies nucleons and their interactions by approximations and models, such as the nuclear shell model. These models can successfully explain nuclide properties, as for example, whether or not a particular nuclide undergoes radioactive decay. The proton and neutron are both baryons and both fermions. The proton carries a positive net charge and the neutron carries a zero net charge. The proton's mass is only about 0.13% less than the neutron's. Thus, they can be viewed as two states of the same nucleon, and together form an isospin doublet I equals one -half. In isospin space, neutrons can be transformed into protons via SU symmetries, and vice versa. These nucleons are acted upon equally by the strong interaction, which is invariant under rotation in isospin space. According to the Noether theorem, isospin is conserved with respect to the strong interaction. Overview Equals topic properties. Protons and neutrons are best known in their role as nucleons, i.e., as the components of atomic nuclei, but they also exist as free particles. Free neutrons are unstable, with a half-life of around 13 minutes, but they are common in nature and have important applications. See neutron radiation and neutron scattering. Singular protons, not bound to other nucleons, are usually regarded as the nuclei of hydrogen atoms or ions, but in some extreme cases cosmic rays, proton beams, they may be regarded as free protons. Neither the proton nor neutron is an elementary particle, meaning each is composed of smaller parts, namely three quarks each. A proton is composed of two up quarks and one down quark, while the neutron has one up quark and two down quarks. Quarks are held together by the strong force, or equivalently, by gluons, which mediate the strong force. An up quark has electric charge plus two-thirds E, and a down quark has charge minus one-third E, so the summed electric charges of proton and neutron are plus E and zero, respectively. Thus, the neutron has a charge of zero, zero and therefore is electrically neutral. Indeed, the term neutron comes from the fact that a neutron is electrically neutral. The mass of the proton and neutron is quite similar. The proton is 1.6726 times 10 minus 27 kilograms or 938.27 MeV c2, while the neutron is 1.6749 times 10 minus 27 kilograms or 939.57 MeV c2. The neutron is roughly 0.13% heavier. The similarity in mass can be explained roughly by the slight difference in masses of up quarks and down quarks composing the nucleons. However, a detailed explanation remains an unsolved problem in particle physics. The spin of both protons and neutrons is one half, which means they are fermions and, like electrons, and unlike bosons, are subject to the Pauli exclusion principle, a very important phenomenon in nuclear physics. Protons and neutrons in an atomic nucleus cannot all be in the same quantum state, instead, they spread out into nuclear shells analogous to electron shells in chemistry. Also important, this spin of proton and neutron is the source of nuclear spin in larger nuclei. 
Nuclear spin is best known for its crucial role in the NMR MRI technique for chemical and biochemical analyses. The magnetic moment of a proton, denoted mu p, is 2. 79 nuclear magnetons mu n, while the magnetic moment of a neutron is mu n equals minus 1.91 micronewtons. These parameters are also important in NMR MRI. Equals. Topic stability. Equals. A neutron in free state is an unstable particle, with a half-life around 10 minutes. It undergoes beta minus decay, a type of radioactive decay, by turning into a proton while emitting an electron and an electron antineutrino. See the neutron article for more discussion of neutron decay. A proton by itself is thought to be stable, or at least its lifetime is too long to measure. This is an important discussion in particle physics. See proton decay. Inside a nucleus, on the other hand, combined protons and neutrons nucleons can be stable or unstable depending on the nuclide, or nuclear species. Inside some nuclides, a neutron can turn into a proton producing other particles as described above, the reverse can happen inside other nuclides, where a proton turns into a neutron producing other particles through beta plus decay, or electron capture. And inside still other nuclides, both protons and neutrons are stable and do not change form. Topic. Antinucleons Both nucleons have corresponding antiparticles, the antiproton and the antineutron, which have the same mass and opposite charge as the proton and neutron respectively, and they interact in the same way. This is generally believed to be exactly true, due to CPT symmetry. If there is a difference, it is too small to measure in all experiments to date, in particular, antinucleons can bind into an antinucleus. So far, scientists have created antideuterium and antihelium-3 nuclei. Topic: <tables>, Tables of detailed properties. Topic: <tables> Nucleons. <tables> 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 Carat of the masses of the proton and neutron are known with far greater precision in atomic mass units U than in MeV, C2, due to the relatively poorly known value of the elementary charge. The conversion factor used is 1 U equals 931.494028 plus or minus 0.000023 MeV, C2. The masses of their antiparticles are assumed to be identical, and no experiments have refuted this to date. Current experiments show any percent difference between the masses of the proton and antiproton must be less than 2 times 10 minus 9 and the difference between the neutron and antineutron masses is on the order of 9 plus or minus 6 times 10 minus 5 MeV, C2. Carat B at least 1035 years. See proton decay. Carat C for free neutrons, in most common nuclei, neutrons are stable. Nucleon resonances Nucleon resonances are excited states of nucleon particles, often corresponding to one of the quarks having a flipped spin state, or with different orbital angular momentum when the particle decays. Only resonances with a 3 or 4 star rating at the particle data group are included in this table. Due to their extraordinarily short lifetimes, many properties of these particles are still under investigation. The symbol format is given as n m l 2 i 2 j, where m is the particle's approximate mass, l is the orbital angular momentum of the nucleon meson pair produced when it decays, and i and j are the particle's isospin and total angular momentum respectively. Since nucleons are defined as having one half isospin, the first number will always be 1, and the second number will always be odd. When discussing nucleon resonances, sometimes the n is omitted and the order is reversed, giving L2I2J M. For example, a proton can be symbolized as N939 S11 or S11 The table below lists only the base resonance. Each individual entry represents four baryons, two nucleon resonances particles, as well as their two antiparticles. 
Each resonance exists in a form with a positive electric charge Q, with a quark composition of UUD like the proton, and a neutral form, with a quark composition of UD like the neutron, as well as the corresponding antiparticles with antiquark compositions of UUD and UD respectively. Since they contain no strange, charm, bottom, or top quarks, these particles do not possess strangeness, etc. The table only lists the resonances with an isospin of one half. For resonances with three halves isospin, see the delta baryon article. The p11 939 nucleon represents the excited state of a normal proton or neutron, for example, within the nucleus of an atom. Such particles are usually stable within the nucleus, i.e., lithium-6. Topic: <laughs> Quark model classification. In the quark model with SU flavor, the two nucleons are part of the ground state doublet. The proton has quark content of UUD, and the neutron, UD. In SU flavor, they are part of the ground state octet of spin one half baryons, known as the eightfold way. The other members of this octet are the hyperon strange isotriplet sigma plus, sigma zero, sigma minus, the lambda, and the strange isodoublet chi zero, chi minus. One can extend this multiplet in SU flavor with the inclusion of the charm quark to the ground state 20 plet, or to SU flavor with the inclusion of the top and bottom quarks to the ground state 56 plet. The article on isospin provides an explicit expression for the nucleon wave functions in terms of the quark flavor eigenstates. Models. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is known that the nucleon is made from three quarks, as of 2006, it is not known how to solve the equations of motion for quantum chromodynamics. Thus, the study of the low energy properties of the nucleon are performed by means of models. The only first principles approach available is to attempt to solve the equations of QCD numerically, using lattice QCD. This requires complicated algorithms and very powerful supercomputers. However, several analytic models also exist. Skyrmion models The Skyrmion models the nucleon as a topological soliton in a nonlinear SU pion field. The topological stability of the Skyrmion is interpreted as the conservation of baryon number, that is, the non-decay of the nucleon. The local topological winding number density is identified with the local baryon number density of the nucleon. With the pion isospin vector field oriented in the shape of a hedgehog space, the model is readily solvable, and is thus sometimes called the hedgehog model. The hedgehog model is able to predict low energy parameters, such as the nucleon mass, radius and axial coupling constant, to approximately 30% of experimental values. MIT bag model The MIT bag model confines three non-interacting quarks to a spherical cavity, with the boundary condition that the quark vector current vanish on the boundary. The non-interacting treatment of the quarks is justified by appealing to the idea of asymptotic freedom, whereas the hard boundary condition is justified by quark confinement. Mathematically, the model vaguely resembles that of a radar cavity, with solutions to the Dirac equation standing in for solutions to the Maxwell equations and the vanishing vector current boundary condition standing for the conducting metal walls of the radar cavity. If the radius of the bag is set to the radius of the nucleon, the bag model predicts a nucleon mass that is within 30% of the actual mass. Although the basic bag model does not provide a pion mediated interaction, it describes excellently the nucleon nucleon forces through the six quark bag S channel mechanism using the P matrix. Chiral bag model The chiral bag model merges the MIT bag model and the Skyrmion model. In this model, a hole is punched out of the middle of the skyrmion, and replaced with a bag model. The boundary condition is provided by the requirement of continuity of the axial vector current across the bag boundary. 
Very curiously, the missing part of the topological winding number, the baryon number of the hole punched into the skyrmion is exactly made up by the non-zero vacuum expectation value or spectral asymmetry of the quark fields inside the bag. As of 2017, this remarkable trade-off between topology and the spectrum of an operator does not have any grounding or explanation in the mathematical theory of Hilbert spaces and their relationship to geometry. Several other properties of the chiral bag are notable, it provides a better fit to the low-energy nucleon properties, to within 5–10%, and these are almost completely independent of the chiral bag radius as long as the radius is less than the nucleon radius. This independence of radius is referred to as the Cheshire Cat Principle, after the fading to a smile of Lewis Carroll's Cheshire Cat. It is expected that a first principle solution of the equations of QCD will demonstrate a similar duality of quark pion descriptions. See also Hadrons Electroweak interaction Further reading A. W. Thomas and W. Weiss, The Structure of the Nucleon, 2001, Wiley W. C. H., Berlin, ISBN 3-527-40297-7 Brown, G. E., Jackson, A. D. The Nucleon-Nucleon Interaction. North Holland Publishing. ISBN 978-0-7204-0335-0 Nakamura, N., Particle Data Group, et al., 2011. Review of Particle Physics. Journal of Physics G37 7, 075021. Bibcode, 2010 JPHG. 0.37 g 5021N. doi, 10.1088.0954-3899.37-7A, 075021 equals equals notes